Dear God, let there be light. You, Lord, are our light. Let there be joy. You, Lord, are our joy. Let there be peace. You, Lord, are our peace. Let there be an abundance of good things, right relationships, and positive experiences in our lives. You, Lord, are our source of every good thing we need or desire. Let our minds be filled with the wisdom of your presence. You, Lord, are the infinite intelligence of the universe. You are the wisdom. You are the presence guiding us to right thought, right action, and the right response in every experience. Let our hearts be filled with love, respect, and honor for ourselves and all other people. You, Lord, are the presence of love, recreating and duplicating yourself at the core of our very beings. Let our bodies be filled with the radiant health and wellness that comes with your presence. Let our lives be filled with the goodness, the peace, the joy, and the light of your divine radiance. That is good. That is God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, that before we ask, you have already answered for our awareness of this as the reality of our being and in our lives, we are so grateful. Let it be so, and so it is. Amen. Amen. Good morning. So we are here to celebrate our world religions candle lighting ceremony and also want to say good morning and welcome to those who are joining us via live stream today. So this ceremony at this special time of year has a clear intention that leaders of all countries and all peoples are guided to understand that all are physically and spiritually one. Physically one because all are descendants of common parents, the primordial father and mother. Spiritually one because all are immortal children of the one spirit, eternally linked in the family of humanity. I love that this year, this ceremony takes place on the first night of Hanukkah, that right now, as the sun has set in different parts of the globe, Jews are celebrating this holiday, which represents the miracle of the light. If you're not familiar with the holiday, uh, it goes back to a time when the Jewish people uh, under Greco-Syrian rule were not allowed to celebrate or uh, practice their own religion. That their temple, the most holiest of all temples in Jerusalem, was taken over and that the Greco-Syrians uh, imposed their gods upon the Jewish people. Uh, they even tried to degrade the people by uh, practicing animal sacrifice and uh, a sacrifice of pigs in the temple. And there was a group of resistance fighters known as the Maccabees that was able to organize the Jewish people to overthrow the Greco-Syrians. And when they cleaned up their temple in Jerusalem and they went to light the menorah, they found that there was only enough oil for one day and it would take seven more days to create more purified oil. Yet they decided to go forward and light the menorah. And when they did so, it burned for eight days. And that was the miracle. In Science of Mind, we talk about how that life of God, the light of God, lives in all of us that there's only one power, one presence in and through all creation. And that we, because of our free will, which is part of our divine nature, we can deny the light. We can not realize that it's there. 
But like the Jewish people, when we turn within and we discover this light within, the menorah within each of us, and we realize it is the light of God, and we stay open to it, it cannot be extinguished. And so this idea of light, you know, our, our tradition falls under the category of new thought, but there are many who refer to it as new thought, ancient wisdom. This idea of light in everything, of God being in everything, goes back to the most ancient of our world religions, that the major world religion of Hinduism actually at its core teaches that Brahman, God, is a presence in everything and everyone. There's a moment in the Bhagavad Gita where uh, Arjuna, the hero, turns to Krishna and says, who are you? And Krishna reveals himself as everything, as all creation. So this idea, and as we are youth who represent the new thought <laughs> of our generation, come forward to pay respect to all the world religions, please know that each and every one of them at its metaphysical level teaches the same concept, that all is one, the light lives in through and as all of us. This reading honors Hinduism. O cosmic light, in this silence, take away the darkness of our hearts. May you and I realize that your blessed light illumines all paths. We honor those who walk the path of Hinduism. I feel the great ohm of spirit as it invites us to cultivate peace into our minds, in our hearts, and in our world. This reading honors Buddhism. Bless the power of the souls, bless the power of spirits, illumina illumination, you and I understand the truth of those who, will f who follow the teachings of Buddha in their quest for peace. There is no greater happiness than peace. We are brothers and sisters who follow the path of Buddha. In Buddha's blessed light, I shall, I shall remain awake forever. This reading honors Taoism. The cosmic light illumines the minds and hearts of those who follow the Tao. There is a thing inherent and natural which existed before heaven and earth. It stands alone and never changes. It pervades everywhere and never becomes exhausted. I do not know its name. I call it Tao and name it supreme. Its nature is peace. Its essence is light. You and I honor those who follow the Tao. The Tao follows its intrinsic nature, peace and light. This reading honors Islam. We are beholding the light through the eyes of all. We are working through the hands of all. We are walking through all feet. The Quran echoes those, these words. I will guide you from the darkness of war to the light of peace. We honor those who walk the path of Muhammad and the nation of Islam. And Allah calls you into the abode of peace and guides you in the straight way. The light of spirit manifests as wisdom behind human reasoning. For this community, I see the deeper significance of the Judaic covenant from Isaiah. And my people shall dwell in peaceable habitation and in quiet resting places. We honor those who walk the path of Judaism. You and I make this scripture true as we transfer, transform fear, resentment, and greed into love, understanding, and, share, and sharing in God's holy light. Native American brothers and sister explain the sun dance in this way. This mound of earth is the sacred mountain. These four stakes around the mound are your first four chiefs. One is north, one is south, one is east, and one is west. This fifth, this fifth stick in the center of the mound is the peace chief. This chief is the one who is the one is the one the rest all dance to. You and I honor these who follow the spirit of the peace chief and other earth-based other earth-based traditions. Our own vision quest is peace, peace, and peace.
This reading honors Christianity. I will follow the shepherd of peace, the prince of peace, guided by the star of wisdom into the birth of Christ consciousness. The light of love illuminates all who walk the path of Christianity. You and I honor those who walk the path of Jesus. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. This reading honors the secular. True spirit lies beyond the realm of the visible. In each there is a spark able to kindle new fires of peace and human progress. Humankind advances to a higher level of civilization. You and I respect and recognize our sisters and brothers who walk the non-religious secular path, <clears throat> who view the absolute from a non-religious perspective. As more fires of the soul are burning, a new global dawn of spiritual understanding is created. The flame of a great peace is formed. This reading honors the searchers. There are brothers and sisters who are still searching for meaning in their lives. Perhaps they've been hurt by a formal religion or have simply not yet heard a spiritual message that speaks to their hearts. You and I honor those who are still searching for their spiritual path. We hold the light of truth for those who are seeking the right and perfect path. This reading honors new thought. Following in the footsteps of the transcendentalists and the philosophers such as Emerson, Troward, Eddie Hopkins, the Fillmores, and Ernest Holmes, along with many of the spiritual, great spiritual mystics, you and I acknowledge those who believe in their unity with the divine and in the power of their thoughts to create. It is called new thought because one that knows that with a new thought, one creates a new experience. You and I honor those who are students of religious science, divine science, unity, and other new thought traditions. Love points the way, and law makes the way possible. Can we acknowledge our youth for their beautiful job? <laughs> Do you want this? <laughs> well, um, in keeping with our theme of peace and light today, I'm going to ask you to turn your attention inward. I thought we'd do a little bit of inner work together. Right? So if you will, close your eyes and bring your awareness to the pattern of your breathing, simply noticing that you're breathing in and breathing out. Be present with that breath. I'm breathing in. I'm breathing out. In the beginning, in the beginning, God, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Now is the time of the new beginning. I am a co-creator with God. And it is a new heaven that comes as the good will of God is expressed on earth through me. It is the kingdom of light love, peace, and understanding, and I am doing my part to reveal its reality. I begin with me. I am a living soul, and the Spirit of God dwells in me as me. I and the Father are one, and all that the Father has is mine. In truth, I am the Christ of God. What is true of me is true of everyone. For God is all, and all is God. I see only the Spirit of God in every soul. And to every man, woman, and child on earth, I say, I love you, for you are me. You are my holy self. 
I now open my heart and let the pure essence of unconditional love pour out. I see it as a golden light radiating from the center of my being and I feel its divine vibration in and through me, above and below me. I am one with the light. I am filled with the light. I am illumined by the light. I am the light of the world. With purpose of mind, I send forth the light. I let the radiance go before me to join the other lights. I know this is happening all over the world at this moment. I see the merging lights. There is now one light. We are the light of the world. The one light of love, peace, and understanding is moving. It flows across the face of the earth, touching and illuminating every soul in the shadow of the illusion. And where there was darkness, there is now the light of reality. And the radiance grows, permeating, saturating every form of life. There is only the vibration of one perfect life now. All the kingdoms of the earth respond, and the planet is alive with light and love. There is total oneness, and in this oneness, we speak the word. Let the sense of separation be dissolved. Let mankind be returned to Godkind. Let peace come forth in every mind. Let love flow forth from every heart. Let forgiveness reign in every soul. Let understanding be the common bond. And now, from the light of the world, the one presence and power of the universe responds. The activity of God is healing and harmonizing planet Earth. Omnipotence is made manifest. I am seeing the salvation of the planet before my very eyes as all false beliefs and error patterns are dissolved. The sense of separation is no more. The healing has taken place and the world is restored to sanity. This is the beginning of peace on earth and goodwill toward all. As love flows forth from every, every heart, forgiveness reigns in every soul, and all hearts and minds are one in perfect understanding. It is done now, and so it is. Amen. So I'll just continue with our treatment. So as we've come together in consciousness today, I know that ideas that are shared are more powerful and so we share the idea of God, spirit, infinite love and intelligence that is everywhere and right where we are. Every one of us, we are emanations of the Most High God, connected with each other on the unseen side of life. And so in this awareness of our oneness, I speak the word for us that we let go of all that does not serve us, whether it's a thought, a belief, an idea, a habit pattern, something we've thought for a long time or something we've just heard today, if it doesn't serve the evolution of our soul, I speak the word that we release it, let it go, never to return again. And the way is made clear in a consciousness of oneness for each and every one of us to step forward in our life as healed and whole, happy, healthy, abundantly prospered, creatively expressed beings. I'm certain for each and every one of us, this is the will of God. And so we include in our prayer today all of those we hold near and dear. Our parents and children, our friends and loved ones, neighbors and co-workers, we see them all in our mind's eye. And we wrap our spiritual arms around them. 
we let our prayer be a blessing in the world. So all that looks discordant to us in the world, we know the greater spiritual truth that God, infinite loving spirit, is right there. We bless our church. We bless all churches everywhere. Synagogues and temples, mosques, ashrams, all paths to God. And I'm certain that we are blessed by being together today, that there is an upliftment of consciousness, that we claim healing and peace and reconciliation and greater love for ourselves and all the world. And so with an open, gracious, full heart, I give thanks that this is the truth right here, right now. It is done unto us as we believe, and we do believe. And so it is, together we all say, Amen. Amen.